In today's health alert, a county in Ohio is experiencing outbreaks of pneumonia cases in children. Thank you for staying with us this afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. These illnesses have been linked to a bacteria that has increased cases in countries like China, France, Denmark, and the Netherlands. So here to tell us more about this is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, tell us about this bacteria and these cases in Ohio. Yeah, we're talking about this at work. You know, most people haven't even heard about this. Mycoplasma yeah. pneumonia is a bacteria that can damage the parts of the body that are involved in breathing. That includes the throat, the lungs, and the windpipe. It's often called, quote unquote, walking pneumonia. Why? Because its symptoms can be milder than the typical pneumonia, and many folks can carry on with daily activities. However, sometimes mycoplasma pneumonia can also cause serious lung infections. And last week, the Warren County Health District in Ohio issued a media advisory regarding a extremely high number of pediatric pneumonia cases. Since the start of August, there have been 142 cases, surpassing the county's usual average, Glenda. These cases primarily affected children around the age of eight. And common symptoms, they included fever, fatigue, and cough. And the good news is that the health district did not find any new or novel respiratory illnesses. We're all worried about that. Instead, the pathogens that were found during testing included stuff we knew, mycoplasma pneumonia, streptococcus pneumonia, and adenovirus. So that's somewhat good news. So do we expect these cases to spread, Doc? And what about treatment? Yeah, a lot of people ask about that, right? So most people are going to get better from mycoplasma pneumonia without needing antibiotics. However, doctors will usually prescribe antibiotics if someone develops pneumonia, which is a lung infection. Common symptoms of pneumonia include what I mentioned earlier, fever, fatigue, cough, and also shortness of breath. What about spread, right? There hasn't really, really been a significant increase in mycoplasma infections in other parts of the U.S. Having said that, we'll usually see pneumonia outbreaks every one to three years. And since we haven't had a major outbreak since before the pandemic, it would not be surprising if cases actually go up this year. Now, anyone can get mycoplasma infections, but most people that are at risk are those who live or work in crowded settings like schools. And that's why, Glenda, these infections are seen most commonly in young adults and school-aged kids, right? They're around each other a lot. However, it's important for everyone to take precautions to protect their health, especially right now. we got the holidays upon us. A lot of us are going out and enjoying the festivities, buying gifts, or gathering with friends and family. And these crowded settings give the viruses a lot of opportunity to do what? To spread, and that's why it's important to take precautions, like simple stuff, right? Wash your hands off and cover your, your, your cough with the crook of your elbow and stay up to date on vaccines. All this helps, but to me, the main thing is that people are really worried something devastating was gonna happen with, you know, with, this, uh, with this mycoplasma pneumonia. People thought, hey, it came from another country, is this COVID again, and it wasn't, so I'm happy about that concerns about the China connection earlier. Yeah, on. and it's like, hey, again, is this COVID again? Because remember, it was like okay. a few years ago, we had a few infections in, yeah. in, in China or somewhere else and came upon us, but this is a little different, it's so different. I'm happy about that. We yeah. can control it with some simple measures. All right, thanks a lot, Doc. Hey, Appreciate my pleasure. Thank of you. course. That takes the pressure off. Thank you very much, exactly. sir. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.